Shalom, family, and thank you so much for joining us for this week's scripture reading. And this week we'll be reading from Deuteronomy chapter 11, verse 26, through chapter 16, verse 17. Isaiah 54, verses 11 through 55, verse 5. John chapter 7, verses 37 through 52. And 1 John chapter 4, verses 1 through 6. Behold, I set before you this day a blessing and a curse, a blessing if you obey the commandments of Yahuwah your Elohim, which I command you this day, and a curse if you will not obey the commandments of Yahuwah your Elohim, but turn aside out of the way which I command you this day to go after other gods which you have not known. And it shall come to pass when Yahuwah thy Elohim hath brought thee in unto the land whither thou goest to possess it, that thou shalt put the blessing upon Mount Gerizim, and the curse upon Mount Ebal. Are they not on the other side of your den, by the way where the sun goeth down, in the land of the Canaanites, which dwell in the Champagne, over against Gilgal, beside the plains of Moreh? For ye shall pass over your den to go in to possess the land which Yahuwah your Elohim giveth you, and ye shall possess it, and dwell therein. And ye shall observe to do all the statutes and judgments which I set before you this day. These are the statutes and judgments which ye shall observe to do in the land which Yahuwah Elohim of thy fathers giveth thee to possess it all the days that ye live upon the earth. Ye shall utterly destroy all the places wherein the nations which ye shall possess serve their gods upon the high mountains, and upon the hills, and under every green tree. And ye shall overthrow their altars, and break their pillars, and burn their groves with fire. And ye shall hew down the graven images of their gods, and destroy the names of them out of that place. Ye shall not do so unto Yahuwah your Elohim, but unto the place which Yahuwah your Elohim shall choose, out of all your tribes to put his name there, even unto his habitation shall ye seek, and thither thou shalt come, and thither ye shall bring your burnt offerings and your sacrifices and your tithes and heave offerings of your hand and your vows and your freewill offerings and the firstlings of your herds and of your flocks. And there ye shall eat before Yahuwah your Elohim, and ye shall rejoice in all that ye put your hand unto, ye and your households, wherein Yahuwah thy Elohim hath blessed thee. Ye shall not do after all the things that we do here this day, every man whatsoever is right in his own eyes. For ye are not as yet come to the rest, and to the inheritance which Yahuwah your Elohim giveth you. But when ye go over your den, and dwell in the land which Yahuwah your Elohim giveth you to inherit, and when he giveth you rest from all your enemies round about, so that ye dwell in safety, then there shall be a place which Yahuwah your Elohim shall choose to cause his name to dwell there. Thither shall ye bring all that I command you, your burnt offerings and your sacrifices, your tithes, and the heave offering of your hand, and all your choice vows which ye vow unto Yahuwah. And ye shall rejoice before Yahuwah your Elohim, ye and your sons and your daughters and your men servants and your maid servants and the Levite that is within your gates, for as much as he hath no part nor inheritance with you. Take heed to thyself that thou offer not thy burnt offerings in every place that thou seest, but in the place which Yahuwah shall choose in one of thy tribes, there thou shalt offer thy burnt offerings, and there thou shalt do all that I command thee. Notwithstanding, thou mayest kill and eat flesh in all thy gates, whatsoever thou soul lusteth after, 
according to the blessing of Yahuwah thy Elohim, which he hath given thee, the unclean and the clean may eat thereof, as of the roebuck and as of the heart. Only ye shall not eat the blood, ye shall pour it upon the earth as water. Thou mayest not eat within thy gates the tithe of thy corn, or of thy wine, or of thy oil, or the firstlings of thy herds, or of thy flock, nor any of thy vows which thou vowest, nor thy free will offerings, or heave offering of thine hand. But thou must eat them before Yahuwah thy Elohim, in the place which Yahuwah thy Elohim shall choose, thou, and thy son, and thy daughter, and thy manservant, and thy maidservant, and the Levite that is within thy gates. And thou shalt rejoice before Yahuwah thy Elohim in all that thou puttest thine hands unto. Take heed to thyself that thou forsake not the Levite as long as thou livest upon the earth. When Yahuwah thy Elohim shall enlarge thy border as he hath promised thee, and thou shalt say, I will eat flesh, because thy soul longeth to eat flesh, thou mayest eat flesh whatsoever thy soul lusteth after. If the place which Yahuwah thy Elohim hath chosen to put his name there be too far from thee, then thou shalt kill of thy herd and of thy flock, which Yahuwah hath given thee, as I have commanded thee, and thou shalt eat in thy gates whatsoever thy soul lusteth after. Even as the roebuck and as the heart is eaten, so thou shalt eat them, the unclean and the clean shall eat of them alike. Only be sure that thou eat not the blood, for the blood is the life, and thou mayest not eat the life with the flesh. Thou shalt not eat it, thou shalt pour it upon the earth as water. Thou shalt not eat it, that it may go well with thee, and with thy children after thee, when thou shalt do that which is right in the sight of Yahuwah. Only thy holy things, which thou hast, and thy vows, thou shalt take, and go on to the place which Yahuwah shall choose. And thou shalt offer thy burnt offerings, the flesh and the blood, upon the altar of Yahuwah thy Elohim. And the blood of thy sacrifices shall be poured out upon the altar of Yahuwah thy Elohim, and thou shalt eat the flesh. Observe and hear all these words which I command thee, that it may go well with thee, and with thy children after thee forever, when thou doest that which is good and right, in the sight of Yahuwah thy Elohim. When Yahuwah thy Elohim shall cut off the nations from before thee, whither thou goest to possess them, and thou succeedest them, and dwellest in their land, take heed to thyself that thou be not snared by following them, after that they be destroyed from before thee, and that thou inquire not after their gods, saying, How did these nations serve their gods? Even so will I do likewise. Thou shalt not do so unto Yahuwah thy Elohim. For every abomination to Yahuwah, which he hateth, have they done unto their gods. For even their sons and their daughters they have burnt in the fire to their gods. What thing soever I command you, observe to do it. Thou shalt not add thereto, nor diminish from it. If there arise among you a prophet, or a dreamer of dreams, and giveth thee a sign or a wonder. And the sign or the wonder come to pass, whereof he spake unto thee, saying, Let us go after other gods, which thou hast not known, and let us serve them. Thou shalt not hearken unto the words of that prophet, or that dreamer of dreams. For Yahuwah your Elohim proveth you, to know whether you love Yahuwah your Elohim with all your heart and with all your soul. Ye shall walk after Yahuwah your Elohim, and fear him, and keep his commandments, and obey his voice, and ye shall serve him, and cleave unto him. And that prophet, or that dreamer of dreams, shall be put to death, because he hath spoken to turn you away from Yahuwah your Elohim, which brought you out of the land of Egypt, and redeemed you out of the house of bondage, to thrust thee out of the way which Yahuwah thy Elohim commanded thee to walk in. So shalt thou put the evil away from the midst of thee. If thy brother, the son of thy mother, or thy son, or thy daughter, 
or the wife of thy bosom, or thy friend, which is as thine own soul, entice thee secretly, saying, Let us go and serve other gods, which thou hast not known, thou nor thy fathers, namely of the gods of the people which are round about you, nigh unto thee, or far off from thee, from the one end of the earth even unto the other end of the earth, thou shalt not consent unto him, nor hearken unto him, neither shall thine eye pity him, neither shalt thou spare, neither shalt thou conceal him, but thou shalt surely kill him. Thine hand shall be first upon him to put him to death, and afterward the hands of all the people. And thou shalt stone him with stones, that he die, because he hath sought to thrust thee away from Yahuwah thy Elohim, which brought thee out of the land of Egypt, from the house of bondage. And all Yasharel shall hear and fear, and shall do no more any such wickedness as this is among you. If thou shalt hear say in one of these cities which Yahuwah thy Elohim hath given thee to dwell there, saying, Certain men, the children of Belial, are gone out from among you, and have withdrawn the inhabitants of their city, saying, Let us go and serve other gods, which ye have not known. Then shalt thou inquire, and make search, and ask it diligently. And behold, if it be truth, and the thing certain, that such an abomination is wrought among you, thou shalt surely smite the inhabitants of that city with the edge of the sword, destroying it utterly, and all that is therein and the cattle thereof, with the edge of the sword. And thou shalt gather all the spoil of it into the midst of the street thereof, and shalt burn with fire the city, and all the spoil thereof, every whit, for Yahuwah thy Elohim, and it shall be an heap forever. It shall not be built again. And there shall cleave naught of the cursed thing to thine hand, that Yahuwah may turn from the fierceness of his anger, and show thee mercy, and have compassion upon thee, and multiply thee, as he hath sworn unto thy fathers. When thou shalt hearken to the voice of Yahuwah thy Elohim, to keep all his commandments, which I command thee this day, to do that which is right in the eyes of Yahuwah thy Elohim, ye are the children of Yahuwah your Elohim. Ye shall not cut yourselves, nor make any baldness between your eyes for the dead. For thou art an holy people unto Yahuwah thy Elohim. And Yahuwah hath chosen thee to be a peculiar people unto himself above all the nations that are upon the earth. Thou shalt not eat any abominable thing. These are the beasts which ye shall eat, the ox, the sheep, and the goat, the hart, and the roebuck, and the fallow deer, and the wild goat, and the pagard, and the wild ox, and the hamoys, and every beast that parteth the hoof, and cleaveth the cleft in two claws, and cheweth the cud among the beasts, that ye shall eat. Nevertheless, these ye shall not eat of them that chew the cud, or of them that divide the cloven hoof, as the camel, and the hare, and the coney. For they chew the cud, but divide not the hoof. Therefore they are unclean unto you. And the swine, because it divided the hoof, yet cheweth not the cud, it is unclean unto you. Ye shall not eat of their flesh, nor touch their dead carcass. These ye shall eat of all that are in the waters, all that have fins and scales shall ye eat. And whatsoever hath not fins and scales, ye may not eat, it is unclean unto you. Of all clean birds ye shall eat, but these are they of which ye shall not eat, the eagle, and the ossifrage, and the osprey, and the gledi, and the kite, and the vulture after his kind, and every raven after his kind, and the owl, and the nighthawk, and the cock owl, and the hawk after his kind, the little owl, and the great owl, and the swan, and the pelican, and the gear eagle, and the cormorant, and the stork, and the heron after her kind, and the lopwing, and the bat. And every creeping thing that flieth is unclean unto you, they shall not be eaten. But of all clean fowls you may eat. 
He shall not eat of anything that dieth of itself. Thou shalt give it unto the stranger that is in thy gates, that he may eat it. Or thou mayest sell it unto an alien, for thou art an holy people unto Yahuwah thy Elohim. Thou shalt not see the kid in his mother's milk. Thou shalt truly tithe all the increase of thy seed, that the field bringeth forth year by year. And thou shalt eat before Yahuwah thy Elohim in the place which he shall choose to place his name there, the tithe of thy corn, of thy wine, of thy oil, and the firstlings of thy herds, and of thy flocks, that thou mayest learn to fear Yahuwah thy Elohim always. And if the way be too long for thee, so that thou art not able to carry it, or if the place be too far from thee, which Yahuwah thy Elohim shall choose to set his name there, when Yahuwah thy Elohim hath blessed thee, then shalt thou turn it into money, and bind up the money in thine hand, and shall go unto the place which Yahuwah thy Elohim shall choose. And thou shalt bestow that money for whatsoever thy soul lusteth after, for oxen, or for sheep, or for wine, or for strong drink, or for whatsoever thy soul desireth. And thou shalt eat there before Yahuwah thy Elohim, and thou shalt rejoice, thou and thine household. And the Levite that is within thy gates, thou shalt not forsake him, for he hath no part nor inheritance with thee. At the end of three years thou shalt bring forth all the tithe of thine increase the same year, and shalt lay it up within thy gates. And the Levite, because he hath no part nor inheritance with thee, and the stranger and the fatherless and the widow, which are within thy gates, shall come, and shall eat and be satisfied, that Yahuwah thy Elohim may bless thee in all the work of thine hands, which thou doest. At the end of every seven years thou shalt make a release, and this is the manner of the release. Every creditor that lendeth aught unto his neighbor shall release it. He shall not exact it of his neighbor or of his brother, because it is called Yahuwah's release. Of a foreigner thou mayest exact it again, but that which is thine with thy brother thine hand shall release. Save when there shall be no poor among you, when Yahuwah shall greatly bless thee in the land which Yahuwah thy Elohim giveth thee for an inheritance to possess it. Only if thou carefully hearken unto the voice of Yahuwah thy Elohim to observe to do all these commandments which I command thee this day, for Yahuwah thy Elohim blesseth thee as he promised thee, and thou shalt lend unto many nations, but thou shalt not borrow. And thou shalt reign over many nations, but they shall not reign over thee. If there be among you a poor man of one of thy brethren within any of thy gates in thy land which Yahuwah thy Elohim giveth thee, thou shalt not harden thine heart, nor shut thine hand from thy poor brother. But thou shalt open thine hand wide unto him, and shalt surely lend him sufficient for his need, in that which he wanteth. Beware that there be not a thought in thy wicked heart, saying, The seventh year, the year of release, is at hand, and thine eye be evil against thy poor brother, and thou givest him naught, and he cry unto Yahuwah against thee, and it be sin unto thee. Thou shalt surely give him, and thine heart shall not be grieved when thou givest unto him, because that for this thing Yahuwah thy Elohim shall bless thee in all thy works, and in all that thou puttest thine hand unto. For the poor shall never cease out of the land. Therefore I command thee, saying, Thou shalt open thine hand wide unto thy brother, to thy poor, and to thy needy in the land. And if thy brother, an Hebrew man, or an Hebrew woman, be sold unto thee, and serve thee six years, then in the seventh year, Thou shalt let him go free from thee. And when thou sendest him out free from thee, thou shalt not let him go away empty. Thou shalt furnish him liberally out of thy flock, and out of thy floor, and out of thy winepress. Of that wherewith Yahuwah thy Elohim hath blessed thee, thou shalt give unto him. And thou shalt remember that thou wast a bondman 
in the land of Egypt. And Yahuwah thy Elohim redeemed thee. Therefore I command thee this thing today. And it shall be, if he say unto thee, I will not go away from thee, because he loveth thee and thine house, because he is well with thee, then thou shalt take an owl, and thrust it through his ear unto the door, and he shall be thy servant forever, and also unto thy maidservant thou shalt do likewise. It shall not seem hard unto thee when thou sendest him away free from thee, for he hath been worth and doubled hired servant to thee in serving thee six years, and Yahuwah thy Elohim shall bless thee in all that thou doest. All the firstling males that come of thy herd and of thy flock thou shalt sanctify unto Yahuwah thy Elohim. Thou shalt do no work with the firstling of thy bullock, nor shear the firstling of thy sheep. Thou shalt eat it before Yahuwah thy Elohim year by year in the place which Yahuwah shall choose. Thou and thy household. And if there be any blemish therein, as if it be lame or blind, or have any ill blemish, thou shalt not sacrifice it unto Yahuwah thy Elohim. Thou shalt eat it within thy gates, the unclean and the clean person shall eat it alike, as the roebuck and as the heart. Only thou shalt not eat the blood thereof, thou shalt pour it upon the ground as water. Observe the month of Abib, and keep the Passover unto Yahuwah thy Elohim. For in the month of Abib, Yahuwah thy Elohim brought thee forth out of Egypt by night. Thou shalt therefore sacrifice the Passover unto Yahuwah thy Elohim of the flock and the herd in the place which Yahuwah shall choose to place his name there. Thou shalt eat no leavened bread with it. Seven days shalt thou eat unleavened bread therewith even the bread of affliction. For thou camest forth out of the land of Egypt in haste, that thou mayest remember the day when thou camest forth out of the land of Egypt all the days of thy life. And there shall be no leavened bread seen with thee in all thy coasts seven days. Neither shall there anything of the flesh which thou sacrificest the first day at even remain all night until the morning. Thou mayest not sacrifice the Passover within any of thy gates which Yahuwah thy Elohim giveth thee, but at the place which Yahuwah thy Elohim shall choose to place his name in. There thou shalt sacrifice the Passover at even, at the going down of the sun, at the season that thou camest forth out of Egypt. And thou shalt roast and eat it in the place which Yahuwah thy Elohim shall choose. And thou shalt turn in the morning and go unto thy tents. Six days thou shalt eat unleavened bread, and on the seventh day shall be a solemn assembly to Yahuwah thy Elohim. Thou shalt do no work therein. Seven weeks shalt thou number unto thee. Begin to number the seven weeks from such time as thou beginnest to put the sickle to the corn. And thou shalt keep the feast of weeks unto Yahuwah thy Elohim with a tribute of a free will offering of thine hand, which thou shalt give unto Yahuwah thy Elohim, according as Yahuwah thy Elohim hath blessed thee. And thou shalt rejoice before Yahuwah thy Elohim, thou and thy son and thy daughter and thy manservant and thy maidservant and the Levite that is within thy gates and the stranger and the fatherless and the widow that are among you in the place which Yahuwah thy Elohim hath chosen to place his name there. And thou shalt remember that thou wast a bondman in Egypt, and thou shalt observe and do these statutes. Thou shalt observe the feast of tabernacles seven days, after that thou hast gathered in thy corn and thy wine. Thou shalt rejoice in thy feast, thou and thy son and thy daughter and thy manservant and thy maidservant and the Levite, the stranger and the fatherless and the widow that are within thy gates. Seven days shalt thou keep a solemn feast unto Yahuwah thy Elohim in the place which Yahuwah shall choose, because Yahuwah thy Elohim shall bless thee in all thine increase and in all the works of thine hands. Therefore thou shalt surely rejoice. Three times 
in a year shall all thy males appear before Yahuwah thy Elohim in the place which he shall choose, in the feast of unleavened bread, in the feast of weeks, and in the feast of tabernacles. And they shall not appear before Yahuwah empty. Every man shall give as he is able, according to the blessing of Yahuwah thy Elohim, which he hath given thee. Isaiah chapter 54 verse 11. O thou afflicted, tossed with tempest and not comforted, behold, I will lay thy stones with fair colors and lay thy foundations with sapphires. And I will make thy windows of agates and thy gates of carbuncles and all thy borders of pleasant stones. And all thy children shall be taught of Yahuwah and great shall be the peace of thy children. In righteousness shalt thou be established. Thou shalt be far from oppression for thou shalt not fear and from terror for it shall not come near thee. Behold, they shall utterly gather together but not by me. Whosoever shall gather together against thee shall fall for thy sake. Behold, I have created the smith that bloweth the coals in the fire, and that bringeth forth an instrument for his work. And I have created the waster to destroy. No weapon that is formed against thee shall prosper. And every tongue that shall rise against thee in judgment, thou shalt condemn. This is the heritage of the servants of Yahuwah, and their righteousness is of me, saith Yahuwah. Ho, every one that thirsteth, come ye to the waters, and he that hath no money, come ye, buy and eat. Yea, come and buy wine and milk without money and without price. Wherefore do ye spend money for that which is not bread, and your labor for that which satisfieth not? Hearken diligently unto me, and eat ye that which is good, and let your soul delight itself in fatness. Incline your ear, and come unto me. Hear, and your soul shall live, and I will make an everlasting covenant with you, even the sure mercies of David. Behold, I have given him for a witness to the people, a leader and commander to the people. Behold, thou shalt call a nation that thou knowest not, and nations that knew not thee shall run unto thee because of Yahuwah thy Elohim, and for the Holy One of Yasharel, for he hath glorified thee. John chapter 7, verse 37. In the last day, that great day of the feast, Yahusha stood and cried, saying, If any man thirst, let him come unto me, and drink. He that believeth on me, as the scripture hath said, out of his belly shall flow rivers of living water. But this spake he of the Ruach, which they that believe on him should receive. For the Ruach HaKodesh was not yet given, because that Yahusha was not yet glorified. Many of the people therefore, when they heard this saying, said, Of a truth this is the prophet. Others said, this is the Mashiach. But some said, Shall Hamashiach come out of Galilee? Hath not the scripture said that Hamashiach cometh of the seed of David and out of the town of Bethlehem where David was? So there was a division among the people because of him. And some of them would have taken him, but no man laid hands on him. Then came the officers to the chief priests and the Pharisees, and they said unto them, why have ye not brought him? The officers answered, Never man spake like this man. Then answered them the Pharisees, Are ye also deceived? Have any of the rulers or of the Pharisees believed on him? But this people who knoweth not the Torah are cursed. Nicodemus saith unto them, He that came to Yahusha by night, being one of them, Doth our Torah judge any man before it hear him and know what he doeth? They answered and said unto him, Art thou also of Galilee? Search and look, for out of Galilee ariseth no prophet. 1 John chapter 4 verse 1
Beloved, believe not every spirit, but try the spirits whether they are of Elohim, because many false prophets are gone out into the world. Hereby know ye the Ruach of Elohim. Every Ruach that confesseth that Yahusha HaMashiach is come in the flesh is of Elohim. And every Ruach that confesseth not that Yahusha HaMashiach is come in the flesh is not of Elohim. And this is that Ruach of Antichrist, whereof ye have heard that it should come, and even now already is in the world. Ye are of Elohim, little children, and have overcome them, because greater is he that is in you than he that is in the world. They are of the world, therefore speak they of the world, and the world heareth them. We are of Elohim. He that knoweth Elohim heareth us. He that is not of Elohim heareth not us. Hereby know we the Ruach of truth and the Ruach of error. Thank you so much for joining us. Shabbat Shalom.